Nearly 50 years after humans last set foot on the lunar surface, America has once again sent a spacecraft back to the moon with the Artemis mission Wednesday. On its third launch attempt, NASA's most powerful rocket, Artemis I, lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 12.17 p.m. Wednesday. Around eight minutes after the launch, the rocket's core stage cut off and separated from the Orion and the upper stage. The first launch of this much-awaited rocket was earlier called off in August. This year, due to an issue with an engine bleed and the second attempt due to a hydrogen leak. It was again rescheduled from 14 November to 16th due to the tropical storm Nicole. Artemis 1 is a 42-day mission that will not land on the moon but loop around it, dropping some satellites off in the process before splashing back into the Pacific Ocean. This launch is significant as it will be the first flight of both the extremely powerful Space Launch System or SLS system as well as the complete Orion capsule and the first robotic flight of the Artemis mission. The Artemis mission is expected to be the first in a series of complex missions that aim to establish a human presence on the moon. The mission objective for the Artemis I is to demonstrate Orion's systems in flight and perform a successful landing back to Earth. A specially trained woolly astronaut, a woolen doll of the cartoon character Sean the Sheep, has been assigned a seat on the rocket. European Space Agency's Director for Human and Robotic Exploration, Dr. David Parker said, this is an exciting time for Sean and for us at the ESA. We're really very happy that he's been selected for the mission and that we understand that although it might be a small step for a human, it's a giant leap for lambkind. The American Apollo missions launched in the 1960s and 70s carried the first humans to the moon. The Artemis missions, named after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology, hope to carry the next group of Americans to the moon, including the first woman. This is Disha Bakchi for The Print. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.